A, 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 Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What up, what up, what up? Hey, loves. I'm doing your weekly reading for the week of 28th of, 28th of October to the 3rd of November. Vibe with me, please, my love. Let's see what's popping. Spirit of the highest vibration of unconditional love. Can I have two advice? Two recent past energy readings for two recent past energy readings for Capricorn Taurus Virgo. <laughs> what is going on? Two recent past energy readings for Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Ooh. So the energy of recent past can always continue in the week. I had some cards flipped out. I never was going to put them in back. I wasn't going to put them in back. What kind of long language is that? Um, spirit of the highest vibration of unconditional love. Can I have energy readings for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo for the week of October 28th to November 3rd? Please, please, please bear with the noise. They are playing football next door or whatever they're doing. And the people of the community. So please bear with me. I have to get these readings out, please. Please bear with me. I feel like giving you... I gave so many other signs an extra card. So I'm giving you guys an A extra card. An extra card. <laughs> Spirit of the highest vibration of unconditional love. Can I have two advice for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo for the week of the 28th of October to, to the 3rd of November? Okay, so um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we have a couple cards here. I'm going to try to run them off real quick because time is... Of the essence we have the six of six of um wands we have the three of wands we have the three of cups and the ace of cups so we recently and the energy can continue into this week recently you had some form of harmony and celebration being more publicly recognized or having some important things to address with publicly recognized people or having people who are publicly recognized very probably recognize addressing stuff with you. Possibly victory. You've been waiting on ships to come in. And you've been. That ship includes some form of victory and harmony. And that's. They've been coming in. Or. Um, taking up a more leadership role in your life. Some form of um, adventure too. Or think thinking of making a decision. Also there has been some form of celebration. Or some of you might have more than one partner's rattling your nerves recently but celebration with friends recently or right now as i'm speaking yeah and possibly a new beginning this celebration might be about a new beginning in your life that you're emotionally connected to it can be anything an ace of cups or a new phase no matter your state of your relationships a new phase in your relationships existing ones um capricorn taurus virgo we have the four of swords here this week of the 28th to the 3rd of November, 28th of October to the 3rd of November, you might need to rest, recuperate, recover from something, possibly a disappointment, misunderstanding, miscommunication, possibly to find stability, or you might be coming out of rest. And I didn't even see this card. 
some form of loss that you're emotionally tied to. You might be healing and recovering from that. Um, you might be healing and recovering from anything else, yeah? And feeling more stable this week or having a change from that, yeah? Having a change from a decision, healing and recovery and over a decision that was made emotionally about a loss. Or, or you might also face a loss this week or a change from that. You might also be very hard at work hustling and juggling or having a decision to make or hustling, hustling to, you know, improve your material world or your physical world, whatever world to find balance. Yeah. This week of the 28th of October to the 3rd of November. So, um, you might also need to be resting and recover, recover to find stability to be grounded yeah yeah or after resting and recovery you'll feel feel more grounded feel more grounded yeah possibly feel even more grounded with your business plans or actions possibly even having someone who is a business owner or business owners assisting you to find stability in your life in communication in, in whatever areas of your life Possibly having something to address with the bank, a recovery with your bank situation. Um, possibly having people who are very encouraging on your side or you're that person, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you're showing up in your own reading. So, and even having someone to do with, like your nature dealing with, who is very firm and grounded, you know, and know how to get things done and very encouraging, yeah? So you might also... Be taking fast, passionate actions to regain some form of something you lost this week. You might also be um, getting help from the divine, the higher sources then be. Or having a new phase or a new, um, new um, beginning in a loss, yeah, or a new relationship, new business. Possibly um, be getting more grounded this week and taking fast, passionate actions actions in business or anything that you're passionate about and um having justice having just in having things balancing or uh, a decision make this week that you will feel justified or as long as you've been genuine you'll feel justified at uh, this are you yeah um to find balance yeah fast passionate actions to find balance this week Possibly Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you might have something important to address with a Libra. You might have something to address with a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, like um, air signs, really. You might be cutting off the truth. Some of you might have something to address with the legal system because we have the King of Swords is like a lawyer. You know, we have the Justice card also. It can be about legalities. Yeah. You might have something to address with the legal situation this week. All the best. Um, might need a lawyer to defend you. Uh, you might also be maturely speaking your truth and cutting things that are no longer serving you. Your truth. Speaking your truth. Taking actions. Planning and preparing to take action or taking actions to find balance this week possibly. So for advice, we have do not get distracted. We have a lot of choices and distractions. Stay focused and know what you truly want and make choose the direction that's what i'm getting um possibly this has something to do with emotions that someone is not showing a cancer pisces or a scorpio you possibly have some healing and forgiving to do this week or continuing feeling unconditional love for something or someone having a wishful thinking possibly um work on your wishes um walking away from situations that are no longer serving you that don't feel fulfilling and walking to um, possibly, possibly this situation, the persons or person might not be giving to you like you like or fairly as you believe or fairly. And uh, walking away to find harmony. Yeah, you might be improving your relations and your relationships this week. The quality of your relations might be improving. You might be getting improvement in your business, giving and receiving fairly, having additional money come in and additional quality of your relations yeah so you might have something to do with um a, you know you have a soulmate situation dealing with here with 
For some of you, you have a soulmate situation dealing with that you're caught from the same cloud, a true love situation to address. So what you do with that soulmate situation, I don't know. So some of you might be feeling stuck and trapped in a situation or moving out of feeling stuck and trapped. Or some of you might just be focusing on um, nurturing your world and um, building your own legacy and your home and your family. Yeah. Some of you might have something to really address where your world is concerned to focus more on your world. So um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, let me see what the angel messages are saying for you. Okay, so whatever you're pushing to do, you should wait. In whatever first comes to mind, wait. Or if you don't have clarity on something, don't jump to conclusion. Wait before you act or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Um, in some cases, so be assertive. Be assertive. Be truthful, yeah. That's what's at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So, yeah, that is your reading. Thank you very much for watching. I bid you the highest, highest, highest vibration and healing, 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 and protection, of course. Namaste. Watch till the end. Read the bio, like, share, comment, subscribe, and thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and commenting, and um, help the channel grow. And peace.